Hello, everyone, and welcome to a booby demonstration. In this one, I'm going to be showing you why you may encounter a no such property error when executing a process that contains a script. Now, you may have a script and it may throw this error complaining about a property that you have not set in there. You go through your script, you don't see the property, so you're wondering why it's being thrown. Uh, the resolution to this can actually be pretty simple. Um, I'll give you an example. So in this case, I have the underscore account property that it's complaining about, and it's failing because it can't reference it. So if we open up our map shape that houses the script and open up the script itself, you can take a look at the input value and the uh, scripts. So first thing I would look for is the actual property it's complaining about. In this case, it's amount. There's no other amounts any referenced anywhere in this script, so this has to be the area that's the problem. If we take a closer look here, actually, you can see that there's a, tr a unintentional space here. This is what's causing the issue. It's being the script is the script is counting this as a uh, separate property when it's supposed to be part of the entire uh, variable. So what we can do to resolve this, just delete the space, go to the input property here, delete the old one, copy this, just re-edit it. As simple as that. If you do this, you're gonna have to remap the actual element to the uh, input property or input yeah, input property itself here for it to actually work again. But once we do that, we can click save, close it. Run the process again. And it worked. So to summarize it, just keep an eye out for any trailing spaces or unintentional spaces within your um, your variables of the script, and you should be good to avoid this error. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.